2024 seems to be the year of thermal goodness. I mean, you can match thermal goodness with a multimeter. Well, it just doesn't get any better than that. Introducing the brand new ET13S from Tooltop. And a big shout out to Tooltops. Thanks so much for sending it in for this review. Here we go. Tooltop, 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 you did it again, my friends. Managed to come up with another one of these fantastico meters. Oh, wow. Thermal imaging plus a multimeter and so much more, all in one tiny little svelte package. I'm getting goosebumps. Was that goosebumps? I'm getting something. To make things even worse, I'm feeling a little naughty. Just a little bit naughty because, well, it's so dang cheap. It is so cheap. It's like a hundred bucks US. I've even seen it a little bit cheaper. Oh my gosh. A thermal imaging camera and a multimeter for a hundred bucks. Oh, I swear to gosh, it's like a steal. It's like a steal. Hey, 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 I didn't steal it. I did not steal it. Uh, I gotta go. <coughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit out of shape. Okay, Whew. here we go. Okay, all fun and aside, uh, there we have uh, the goodies that come with the ET13S. As you can see, starting from the right to the left, we have our USB-C charging cable. Yes, USB-C. Thank you so much for not making one of these crazy micro USBs or, you know, whatever. Now, let's, let's stick with a common standard USB-C. I love it. I love it. Get our test probes, which are basically bigger than the multimeter. I love it when that happens. And we get our instruction manual. Nothing fancy going on here, but it is the basics. It tells you how to use it in a few different languages. But once again, this is pretty basic. And of course, here we have all of our info, including the sensor of vanadium oxide, 20 hertz capture frequency, 192 by 192 pixels, 240 by 240 display resolution. Not shabby. Guess what? Yeah, I didn't show you everything. We even get something extra, extra with the ET13S. Read all about it. What am I singing so much lately? Um, here it is. Here it is. Do you know what it is? Anybody? Oh, who's that one in the back? Smart lad you are. Yes, it is a macro lens for the 13S. Yes, for close-up macro photography, always advisable when you're doing PCB uh, thermal imaging to have a macro lens. It will make components just pop. And especially if there's a leak, man, it is a lot easier with a macro. So hey, we even get that for a hundred bucks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. love it. As you can see, that body is a lot similar. Well, a lot similar. It looks very similar to the anning, doesn't it? Same kind of shape. Oh, I'm missing the back on that. Well, something else to look for. Um, yeah, so it, it, it has that anning-ish look and feel. It has that kind of plasticky feel. Can't say I'm a great big fan of that. I would have loved to have seen some rubber inlay or some sort of a little boot on here, but uh, it is a little on the plasticky side. So if your hands are greasy or wet, you might lose control of your thermal imaging multimeter. Um, but it is a definitely pocketable meter. Putting it alongside a popular HT 118E, uh, you can see very, very small in comparison. Um, but that being said, it's not too small. Is there such a thing? I don't think so, but uh, it is small enough. And hey, that's one of the cool features about this meter. Now, not so cool. It doesn't have a hanging strap, doesn't come with a magnet. So that kind of bites, once again, being small. So you're, you're gonna need a stand or you're gonna need to, you know, some 3M tape or I don't know how you're gonna wing it, but dang it, a magnetic packing would have made this a whole lot more 
Hmm. Handy dandy. As I mentioned before, those test leads, Cat 3, 1,000 volts, big test leads, but they are really nicely done. Have a little bit of molding going on. Can you see that molding? A little attention to detail there just makes uh, the usage of these a little bit easier, especially if you're at the bench or on site, whatever, for a certain amount of time. You know, your hands can actually get a little, you know how it is, spending five, six hours a day testing stuff. So to have that little ergonomic molding going on, I think is really cool. Very comfortable in the hands, super sharp. Nice shrouding on the ends as well. So these are high quality test leads all in when all. When you're charging the multimeter, you get that little red glowing LED light and it tells you that it's charging. Unfortunately, if you try to turn it on, you, you can't even see it. It just basically says, uh-uh, ain't gonna happen. Unplug me. So you can't use it while you're charging. Another cool feature is on the back, you just use your fingernail if you want to open up that backing and look at that instant access to that rechargeable battery that i like so you know god forbid if it goes south you can still replace it it's a lithium ion 3.7 volt battery with a thousand milliamp hour capacity um cool turning it on couldn't be easier just hold down on the power button for about a second but a boom but a bing and nothing happens because it's couldn't be easier right there you go okay a couple of seconds and you see that little screen with a countdown it's automatically gonna boot into thermal imaging mode by default. There you go. A few seconds, you are loaded. And if you wanna to go to multimeter mode, hit that other button right here and bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. You are in multimeter mode. Nice thing as well, look at that. Push button, push button. Yeah, we don't have a selector switch, but we have a push button display for a hundred bucks. Hey, hey, we have a new addition to the bench, courtesy of DMM Check Plus. Thank you so much for sending this in. This will become a regular part of the channel. DMM Check Plus 8, uh, brand new. Look at that. So that is going to be our premiere testing with the ET13S. All right, let's start off with volts DC. And we should be looking at 5.000 volts. 5.015. Close enough. You know, let's check out volts AC. Simple as that. I've got the DMM Check Plus in AC mode. We should get 4.999 according to the calibration certificate. Coming in at 4.987. Go to that settings menu. You can see we have a lot of different options here. System settings, backlight, IR camera, multimeter storage, uh, USB mod about. If you click on the about. Tells us the hardware version, serial number, um, LCD size, the whole nine yards. And let's, let's click on storage. So when you take pictures, thermal imaging pictures, this is where they're gonna end up in your storage. Right now it said 97%. Um, in terms of pictures itself, it's probably gonna to amount to around about 150, 200 pictures. So a lot of storage capacity considering it's a built-in. Uh, there's no way to extend it. You can't add an SD uh, flash drive, anything like that. Unfortunately, you're limited by what is on board. Another cool feature here is backlight and sound. And here we have adjustability settings for your brightness as well as your screen timeout. Now I have switched it to off so it doesn't go off when I'm doing the review. Um, you can have it up to two seconds, uh, two seconds, two minutes for a maximum screen time shut off variable. In terms of screen brightness as well, right now it's midway around 60%. I find when it's a little bit at too much higher, like 100%, it's going to be a little bit more uh, susceptible to glare. I like it sort of the midway zone. It's plenty, plenty bright. So a lot of customizability, a lot of options here really at the touch of your fingers. Capacitive, uh, resistive display. Once again, very tactile. It doesn't take a lot of pressure and it's just awesome. Another cool feature as well is the fact that you've got a dual display. So you can have your thermal imaging going on as well as your multimeter uh, measurements taking place at the same time. For whatever reason, if you want a multimeter and a thermal camera at the same time, you can. And since right now it's hooked up to that uh, precision reference and 5.00 volts is coming out coming in at 5.016 and at the same time we're able to get a thermal image while we are measuring so yeah, that 
is kind of cool. Take a look now at a 3D print that's going on. And let's pay special attention to the print bed itself. So it is coming in at around 59 degrees, 60 degrees Celsius. And if we match that up to the actual settings, you can see 60 degrees Celsius spot on, according to the printer. Okay, so I proceeded to take the ET-13S outside and unfortunately, yeah, dismal fail. Uh, Exterior-wise, you cannot see the display. You can't read anything. It's actually on. Thermal imaging is on, but look at that. It is like useless. So outside, uh, this is definitely a no can do. There's that macro lens as I was talking about, just clips on the back of the meter. Um, there you go. Does not come with every of the uh, ET13S meter, so make sure you ask for it specifically. Make sure that it's included. And as you can see, yeah, quite a difference with the macro. Yeah. Next up is diode mode. Okay, here we go, starting off with the red LED and lit with a forward voltage drop over to the green. Yes, yellow. It is lit. And onto the white. Will we be five for five? The blue, yes, indeed. Oh, beautiful. And look at that, we even have an audible output in diode mode. Oh, very, very nice. So five for five in terms of LEDs and diodes. That is good stuff. Now I'm going to just try as well, if I short the test leads. Yes, yes, and yes. So in diode mode, this is gonna do awesome. Already continuity is next. Stock default test leads. Three, two, one. Hey, not too shabby. Quite low though. But it does latch. Let's try the Probe Masters. Probe Masters. Oh yeah, even slightly quicker on the latching side of things and a tiny bit louder as well. Awesome. Seventy-four point seven dBA maximum output in continuity. Hey, not too shabby. Already tear down time. Here we go. Look at that black PCB. Oh gosh, that looks good. Brings out that you know, I don't know, techno pizzazz, doesn't it? So we've got the back of the unit off, and right away, what pops out is that thermal cam on the top left. Very, very nicely done. Actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting uh, for just the sheer small size of this meter. But yeah, check out that thermal cam. Well, it's pretty good size, pretty good size. And attached to that, we've got that battery as well. Let's just, just disconnect that, shall we? There we go. 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp hour, lithium ion battery, rechargeable awfully nice and you know what these are diamond dozen on ebay if it does you know go south after a year or what have you easily replaceable good looking pcb all around uh the top right there we've got the ribbon cable attachment for that thermal cam and it's in there in a kind of peculiar way actually it's not your typical ribbon ribbon attachment uh, connector a little funky but i mean it works right Nice PCB all around. And we take a look at the bottom there. There are those input jacks. Once again, nice tension detail here on those split jacks. I'll get in a little bit closer in a second, but the soldering is immaculate on this board, like absolutely immaculate. Here we have a 1PTC. Um, let's face it, it doesn't do current, right? So we're not gonna get a whole lot going on for input protection, but uh, it is what it is. Here's a little bit closer view of that ribbon cable connector for the thermal camera. Uh, it's in there pretty darn good at this point. And yeah, look at that solder blob. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you know, it wasn't a one-off. No, this was definitely uh, done properly. And here we are 
taking a nice look again at that uh, display. Nice, big, bold. And look at that, fieldtech.net. January 9th, 2024. Oh, it's an ET13S. Yes and yes. Wow, what a great thermal imaging camera slash multimeter. How often do you see that combination? And the low, low price, heck, this is even on sale right now for under 100 US, under 100 Canadian, even. Like, that's absolutely nuts. Has all the bells and whistles you can ask for in a multimeter. Uh, only thing is, it does not do current. Just remember that the ET13S doesn't support current testing, not even milliamps. So that's one drawback. Um, also, when you take it outside, you can see that uh, display capability really goes down. Yeah, um, it's useless outside during the day. Obviously at night, different story, no glare. You can go ahead and do your thermal imaging to your heart's content, but daytime use, not gonna be much use. So end of the day for what you're getting, money, bang for buck, this thing is basically a steal. And no, I didn't steal it. The Tooltop ET13S thermal imaging camera slash multimeter gets a resounding four out of five stars. Oh, good job, Tooltop. What a great little instrument. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one. Keep on testing.